Hey guys, and welcome to the second episode of Sky Factory 2.5. And in this one, basically, I am showing you what I did in between episodes. And then after this real quick uh, playthrough is done, then I'm going to actually let the episode start. And if you really enjoy this type of thing, noticing like what I'm doing exactly and not missing a second of it, um, then please uh, leave a like or leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. And if you'd rather not, then just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'd like, I'd really like to get your guys' opinions on this. Um, I can either do it at the beginning, do it at the end, or make a separate video, whatever you would prefer. Okay, so now back onto this video. Basically, I'm just getting more stuff, getting more materials, uh, sieving more dirt, um, getting more cobblestone, and then, um, as you can see, we got some uh, gravel, sand, and dust. We're going to use that later later on and um, I'm also getting some stone because we're going to make our juicer uh, th that'll be essential for us because we have all these apples but it'll be more efficient if we have our juicer so yeah that's basically what I'm going to be doing I'm going to show you a little bit more because I wasn't a hundred percent sure that this would work I was, I was having some trouble editing it but I finally got it through so I will see you guys when it starts Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. As you probably saw, hopefully before this, um, I was doing a, a doing like a little speed thing about what I was doing in between episodes, so you guys could see it. So basically, if you saw that, I did. I got a little bit of dust, a little bit of sand, a little bit of gravel. And I'm going to show you how I did that just right now really quick. So basically, when you hit cobblestone, you get a hammer. Um, and a hammer, I'll just search it up real quick. Um, where's the hammer? All right, the hammer's down here. So I just use this recipe, simple cobblestone, two sticks. If you want to be, um, you can use... Uh, wooden hammers, but it's only 59 durability. This has over double that and I have a good amount of cobblestone So I just use that so basically you take one and I got one gravel You hammer that you get a sand and then you hammer that and you get dust Now really quickly um, I'm going to actually sieve each one of these and We can see what cool items we got. So we got some coal for this one on sand we didn't actually get anything <laughs> and then we'll just do one um, we'll do one of those like that we got some gunpowder certus quartz and all that nice stuff okay so <laughs> for sand we didn't get anything but uh, we'll, we'll do a lot of sand deceiving later sand's not really our priority at least for right now right now our priority is actually getting a bucket of water now, for water, there is a crucible, and I'm pretty sure, let's make sure how oh, these are touching. Um, this. Okay, so these, oh, that's such a diagonal. All right, these shouldn't be touched anymore. I'll just use that. There we go. Okay, i take this wood down really quickly, and I just won't replant, at least right now. I'll just let these grow. Um, alright, so right now I'm going to take, I think, um, I might have to look it up again. So it was like a wooden, or was it like an oak? So then, uh, is that, what, was it an oak crucible? Yeah, it was oak crucible. Okay, so I'm just going to make, I'll make two of these. And then basically, I'll just put these at the end, right here. Get my half slab, I don't have enough. Make another bit of half slabs, just so it looks nicer. And when they, when they float it, I don't think they look as nice. Alright, so now we can use we can use our oak saplings, we can use our leaves, basically anything we compost. I'm pretty sure it can go into here, and you can already see, it's starting to make some water. Now, eventually we're going to use other crucibles to... Um, to make us lava, but for right now this will help us and in, in get our water going. So this will only give us one bucket of water total, but that's all we're going to need. 
um, for right now. Now we're going to have to get a couple uh, dust, and if you right click dust into a water, either an oak barrel filled with water or an oak crucible with water, then that'll work. Also, for right now, it hasn't rained, <laughs> it's only even the second day, but when it does rain, it's going to be terrible. Um, because now all these barrels will fill up with water and really the only reason why I have these here is not to get water. Um, so I'm going to actually one, two, three, four high and then I'll put oak slabs on the rest so I don't have to put torches on here. And I'll just put just over the actual area that I'm going to be working in, just over these uh, oak barrels actually. And that would that'll work really nicely. I'll get some more of these slabs. I seem to be running out of slabs a lot. Now I could use a wand, and I actually, you know, I will just to show you. Um, basically, for a wand, you're gonna need some uh, two sticks. Now we're gonna make the most basic wand, which is a, a stone wand. And this one kind of sucks. You only put five five blocks maximum. Um, so basically, when, if I right click right now, it'll place all four down, but I only want three, so I'll do this. And then I can place it down, and that'll be good. So now when I increase this uh, border around here, that'll be a lot faster as I can place five at once. Uh, this seems to be done. Let me get, because if I can actually like sieve, so it, it takes a little while to sieve each one individually, especially with the dirt. But if I can get that, um, the other sieve, that'll be a lot better. Okay, so I think I need eight. Yep. And then I need to make that one, two, three, four of these. I don't need any extra. And then for the rest of the crooks, all I need to do is put four crooks in, and then I get a compressed crook. And this one barely has any, I mean, it has 46, but I'll just use it on this tree. It's dead already. <laughs> These are the rest here. And we got 45 string. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, that'll definitely be enough. We got like 90, 98 string. <laughs> okay, so now with this, we're going to fill this up and we're going to need eight of these. We don't need to make that. And then we're going to do this in a two by two. Then we're going to get a heavy one. And then we're going to put these down here. Now we have to use um, logs. Then we put the sticks at the bottom and we're going to get a heavy oak sieve. Now with the heavy oak sieve, I'm going to put this right next to the other sieve. Put this underneath to make it look nicer. And then with this one, um, we can compress the gravel and all that stuff and it'll be a lot nicer that way. I mean, it's not as efficient, so if you're kind of low on cobblestone or something, it won't be the best, but at least for right now, that'll be all we need. So we have these two, then I can um, automate it later. All right, so I'm, I want to mine this, actually. Now, actually, if you use a stone hammer, <laughs> if you use a hammer, it can be a wooden hammer, too. Um, you can get these wood chippings, and these wood chippings, if you don't need wood, which I don't know who wouldn't, but if the later game you don't need wood or something, um, you can just hammer, and you can put these in, and this will also give you your dirt, too, which is really nice. I'll fill the rest in with um, saplings. But, yeah, so if you don't need logs or something, or you seem like you're pretty good, you can just do that. That'll be really useful for your first kind of like starting area, or like if you're later in the game and you just need tons of, uh, you just need like tons and tons of dirt, you can do that. And you can also automate dirt. You can look at my tutorial series for automating dirt. Okay, so now these look like, yeah, they're full. So now we can take our um, dust, right click it, and then these will actually give it back to you right away. If there's water in here, they won't give it back. You have to right click again because there'll be clay in the oak barrel. So now I'm just going to hit this. I'm going to get four of uh, four clay. And then I can put it into a bucket shape and get an unfired clay bucket. Then I can put the that in here. And then I'm going to fire this clay. Then I'm going to get some more charcoal because I'm going to need charcoal later for more torches, because I don't really have a ton of tor torches right now. 
Um, there we go. Okay, so now I can actually pick up the water and I can make an infinite water source. Oh my gosh. So I pick it up, put it back down, and then... Uh, okay, uh, let's just fill this back up. Uh, these take a lot of oak saplings. So this one's almost done. I can't believe I wasted a water. <laughs> um, I'll collect these right now. If not, I probably won't need them. Uh, I can also light the place. We'll put that right there. That'll be good. I know it's not even exactly, but it'll be good enough. Okay, so I'll take this and I'll put it here for right now. That's almost done. And then while that's finishing up, I can make a little area for my infinite water source. So that can be right here, I think. So we'll need the four blocks here. And then I'll put the half slabs as like a little wall around it. And then I don't have to uh, crouch for this. I don't, I don't have an, um, an I didn't make another axe. This will be fine. Okay, so break those. And then I have another water, so that water will go here. And the other water will go on the other side. And this whole thing is infinite, which is really nice. And then I can make some more dust. So I did save dust, yeah. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, we're going to need some more dust in here once this fills up. Let's fill almost full. Let's right click that, fill that up. Um, I'll place these and just keep them all always full. Take the clay, then mine the clay again. I probably shouldn't use the hammer, I don't know what the heck that'll do. Okay, so then I got this, and now I'm gonna need... Okay, so now I'm gonna need to make mob farm but before we do that really quick I'm gonna show you the achievement book so all this stuff kind of tells you how to use this book and everything and I've, I've read it but the first sky factory and it's really the same okay so I'm gonna go this through like every episode and try to get a couple achievements done in later game it'll be a lot harder but at least for early game I'll try to do that so it says use a crook on leaves to get saplings and uh, silkworm check uh, make dirt by composting saplings and oak barrel we did it with leaves same thing check Infested leaves with a silkworm, check. Use a crook on infested leaves to get string, check. Craft a sieve, we did that. Collect um, rainwater and oak barrel, or, or we did the uh, melt saplings in a uh, wooden crucible. Um, craft cobblestone from small stones. Craft a hammer to turn cobble into gravel, gravel and sand, sand into dust. That's why I did that in the fast forward, um, like the speed run, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, sift, gravel, sand, and dust in a sieve. We did that. Make Tinker's Construct Tools from Bone or Flint. Actually, um, hmm. Yeah, I think I, I think I want to do that. I'm going to get a little bit of flint and we can make some tools after we make our little mob farm. Um, make clay by putting, yeah, we did clay. Now we didn't make a crucible yet because we're going to need a bone meal. We don't have any. Now we could just keep saving tons of dust to get bone meal, but eh, I don't think that'll be useful because there's so much stuff that we're going to get from the mob farm. So for the mob farm, I'll probably make it jutting out over here. So we're going to have our three, and then we can use our trusty uh, bone stone wand, not bone wand, and then go out about 25 blocks. Now the reason why I think that you go out 25 blocks is because um, they're usually, actually, is there not? There usually is like a spawn protected area. Is there actually not a spawn protected area? Huh. Well, anyway, there usually is. Hmm. I guess there isn't. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This on this world. Eight, nine, ten. 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh yeah, in the achievement book on this page, it says make a dark room 25 blocks away. That's where I got that from, if you didn't notice. Um, let's see. I need to get some more 
slabs, tons of them. Now I'm going to make the whole grinder thing, almost the whole entire thing out of slabs. And I'll tell you the reason I was after taking it, I messed up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay, we're at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then I'll go out 5, 1, 2, now we're going to have to make this a little bit wider, but it'll be okay for right now. Dang it, it ran out. I think we're gonna make one more probably soon. Then I usually like to make a um another crafting station over here, and I always like to make um this kind of crafting station because it like fits in with the ground. Um so that, that's perfect. Um also probably be good if we have some lights, some torches light the place up. Now for the achievement book, I didn't say this earlier, but actually you can put this on on a stand. So basically you put the six on the bottom and then you put the achievement book on top and you got your achievement stand. And then with this stand you can I'll place it like right here. This looks good. Oh my gosh I didn't put my uh, slab underneath the, the furnace. Um, but yeah and then I kept, kept all my check marks. So basically then I'll just use it from here. So I'll go back to here whenever I need to. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do a quick speed run of me building a quick little mob farm. And then I'll come back after I'm done. Alright guys, and welcome back from that. Alright, so now I'm just going to show you the uh, juicer, and that's the way you get apple juice. <coughs> nice thing about it is that it has a 2.5 hunger, then it'll give you 6 hung uh, extra saturation. So that's way better than regular apples. So alright, just let me eat. Um, I really hate this rain, but um, this is the part where I'm actually overlaying, I'm like kind of narrating what I'm saying. So, <laughs> if it's not exactly spot on to how it was before, you don't see like my mouse clicking in the background. Um, yeah, that's because uh, this file got corrupted. So, um, alright, so basically, let's see. 
<clears throat> I really want to make some of those Tinker's Construct stuff. So I think I'm going to go and um, get some flint. Then also what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to get some bone meal too. So hopefully there are some some skeletons over there that I can get some uh, some of that for. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so because I don't want to mess up that clay area because I have just the right amount of clay that I need still, I'm going to make another crafting table there. So that's why I'm putting that down. And then I'm going to make... <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to make some patterns from the Tinker's Construct. And then I'm going to make each of the parts. Now, I usually don't... Um, I'm going to decide this in a little bit. But I usually uh, don't uh, want to have uh, this into slabs. I'm going to end up making it into slabs. And uh, sorry for my inventory being stacked. I'm going to clear that up right now. And I think I'm going to make another chest really soon. Because I just get like, you know, get you get all these books that you don't really need. Um, unless you're like a, a beginner to like tinkers and all that kind of stuff. But I really don't need any of that stuff. But whatever. So basically I'm going to start placing them down. Now here's the part where I'm going to make them into slabs. And the part where I usually don't do this. Um, so I think I'm going to need the chest still. So I'm gonna make the chest, and I think I need, yeah, I need some more wood right now. So I'm just gonna use my compressed crook and get myself some more wood for that. All right, and I'm gonna use the pattern, basically it's a pattern on top of the chest, and that's how you get the uh, pattern chest, basically. And um, in that, it'll link up to the other uh, Tinker's thing, so it'll like store it. Kind of like how you have a crafting table, then um, use like the Tinker's crafting table right next to a chest, and then you can see what's inside the chest, even if it's a double chest, and you can like pull stuff out of there as you're crafting stuff. Um, so yeah, so you have that, and then I did forget which one um, uh, was after that. I'm gonna have to place them down and like figure out exactly because I sometimes forget. Uh, the stencil table and the part builder and now I'm just going to delete the floor so then it's flush with the floor and it'll look really nice so the stencil table is going to go right there where I just dug the hole and then next is going to be the uh, pattern chest and then next to the pattern chest is going um, to be the part builder and then I'm going to have to make the other tinkers construct uh, which is basically it puts everything together. Yeah, so that, that's where the pattern chest, you can see that. So all I'm going to need to do is I'm going to make a uh, crafting table. And then I'm going to put the thing on top of it. And then I got the tool station. So I'm going to get that spot for the tool station. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to make it into a slab. <clears throat> so put inside the tool station and that's all perfect. So now I really want to make, um, really want to make my Tinker stuff. Now I'm deciding um, which kind of tool that I want. I'm not a hundred percent sure which one, but eventually I'm gonna decide. Um, I think I'm gonna decide on a Matic. I think that's the one I picked. Um, I was gonna decide for a rapier. I was like really looking at the rapier. Um, but I decided not to do it because of the couple other parts and the medic I'm going to actually use um, to cut down the trees and to use for um, uh, to get some dirt and uh, I can use that as a hoe actually so that's like perfect it does three different things and then I, I can just use my stone sword for right now and then I'm basically set uh, except for my pickaxe which I don't need right now because I'm not using tons of cobblestone. So as you saw right there, basically I was trying to get the items by walking around, but I figured out that you actually can't get every single item. Um, I'm guessing maybe a 30% chance you won't pick up the item inside. It just, it kind of goes in like the center, like the middle of the block area. 
so I won't be able to pick that up. Now I'm just looking through the loot bag and trying to figure out which stuff that I actually want. And I decided that I'm going to, if I have a, uh, if I get a chance cubes, I'm actually going to open them. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll probably open them in the same world, but sadly I only got seeds. I threw them away by accident because uh, the bag kind of glitched out a little bit for some reason. Uh, sometimes that happens to me, to, if that happens to you. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and I just saw, in the corner of my eye, I saw Blizz. So I killed that. Um, it took a little bit because it likes to fly up like the Blaze does. And um, basically that's going to be perfect for later game when I'm um, making the Cryothium. Um, and uh, for my big reactors and stuff, that's a lot later game. I may use it, I may not. It'll be a lot of placing down because the problem with that is it doesn't flow like water. It just is in one block, like its source block is the only block it, it actually is on. Um, so it'll only take up uh, one uh, block space, I guess. So if you have like a huge area that you need to fill, then you're going to have to use a lot of cryothium, so those um, blizz rods will help later game. Um, but yeah, so I'm just trying to get a little bit more wood, because I think you can never have enough wood. And I didn't have um, another crook, so I just decided to break it with some saplings. I always think that's kind of funny when you can like vein mine stuff with like saplings or anything else, but you can't vein mine with your hand. Okay, so I got some more saplings placing down the trees again. And um, yeah, I'm just deciding right now which uh, Tinker's Construct tool I'm going to make. And I'm going to need some more flint because I'm deciding to make it out of flint because right now I don't have enough bone meal um, to make my... Um, to make my, uh, what was it, the crucible, the regular crucible. Um, I need seven bone meal and I don't have enough right now. So I, I just decided to hold off on that. I just need one more bone meal, but sadly I didn't get it. And I'm not actually making it into the heavy oak sieve because if I do that, then I won't get in, I won't get as much uh, stuff. I think it's like a times seven, even though you use times eight amount of, uh, of gravel so it's not as good but when I get a when I get like a cobblestone generator I won't really care that much or when I automate the cobblestone generator I won't really care so uh, you can see I'm starting to overfill so I decided that I need to um, make a chest and luckily I had a chest because I used the uh, wooden um, logs the oak logs that I had and I made four so basically you put the logs and like basically like a chest you um, making a chest out of logs instead of out of the planks and you can make four instead of one so that'll help if you're trying to make multiple chests um, really quickly and you don't want to make it all into planks so now I'm just putting the, my blink pattern in there and I'm just looking uh, I know I needed the tool rod and I'm just deciding which one I want to pick and I ended up going for the matic after looking through um, right there, and I'm picking right here. Eh, I think that might take up too much um, flint for right now because I barely get any flint. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just looking right there. I was like, eh, no thanks. So I decided to go for the Matic. And I noticed that you can actually use wood for that, so that'll be sweet. Um, so, <laughs> uh, by mistake, I actually used a uh, wooden plank even though I didn't actually have to. Uh, but you'll see that, and then one goes into a tool rod, one goes into a stick. So, oh, I only have one flint right now, so I need to make some more gravel. I need to sieve that gravel. So, yeah, sorry for the amount of time. This is going to be about like a 35 minute video. I'm, so, I'm really sorry about that. But it just had to take a little bit longer because I really wanted to get tons of stuff done. I mean, if you look, it's only day four. And we've already gotten really, really far. And it's really only episode two, but about like 50 minutes of like gameplay that you've guys seen. So, not so far, but at the end of this video, if you guys watch all the way through. Okay, so I'm making, um, oh yeah, so I just forgot the uh, flint. So I'm putting the flint back in there, and I just mess up a little bit, putting it in the wrong order. 
But then I take those two and then I put my tool rod and again, messing up the tool rod. <laughs> and then I see I get the tool rod and the stick and I'm like, what the heck is going on? But whatever. Um, and they don't even stack, which is really weird, but you know what, whatever, I'm not questioning it. <laughs> I'll just leave that be because I would have gotten two sticks anyway um, for one of the planks. Okay, so I'm just gonna put everything back in the pattern chest, which is what it's there for to store up my patterns. And then all I have to do is just click the matic, and there we go. I got my flint matic, and it looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna use it. It has 226 durability, which is pretty good for just a flint matic, and for what I'm gonna use it for. Then eventually, because I'm gonna need to get a good amount of iron later to automate the cobblestone which I'm thinking really far ahead on, um, the flint will help out and I'll be able to level that up and then maybe I get a diamond enchant on it or something. So, uh, yeah, I'm going over here trying to, oh yeah, I see the skeleton. I'm like, yes, bones. And I'm like, oh no, is it gonna fall off the edge? Oh, phew, it's barely stayed on the edge over there. Um, I might decide to make that one wider, I'm not sure. I don't know why, but like slabs seem to just like want like the items just want to like fall all over the place wherever they want to, especially at the beginning. So now I got all the porcelain clay that I need. I think I need to go in the chest and pick it up. There's a three there. So I'm just gonna make it in a U shape and then I'm gonna get the crucible, the unfired crucible, throw that in the furnace. Then I'm gonna pick my spot out that I need to. So I have my torch and I need to get a half slab. There we go, we got a half slab. Put the torch on it, and I'm going to put the um, slab right there just to make it easier for me to place down the crucible. And placing down the crucible there, I'm going to mine it with my mattock <laughs> or not. And I'm, oh, yeah, I got to put my uh, cobblestone in there. Now, what I was trying to do just after this is I'm trying to put stones in there. I don't know if you can, but I've tried to put stones instead of just cobblestone. And it's not working. I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know if they need to change the achievement book. But for some reason, you can't put stones. So that's what I'm going to do in a little bit. I'm going to try to put stones in there. Uh, yeah, and I just like, I'm kind of like saying all this stuff. And I don't know what I'm saying exactly. Just kind of going off of what I see. <laughs> yeah, so we just finally completed that. We got the Tinker's Construct tool or flint. We crafted the crucible. And um, we heated uh, the crucible with the torch, and we inserted the stones and cobblestone to make lava. I'm not sure if I checked that off or not. I might have. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just kind of like saying all about the uh, stones and everything about them. Yeah, I think I found some stones. I'm going to right click and like... You can see there should be enough room for like a solid to go in there, but none of them went in because I still have five. And like there should be some room, but I guess there isn't. It'd be like one fourth of the cobblestone. So uh, 250 divide 250 mill buckets, I think each cobblestone is. So divide that by four, and you basically get like 60. And there should have been enough there for about like 60. So yeah, I I don't know. But anyway, I'm just like going through and I'm, I'm seeing all the nice stuff that I have. And I think I was about to go eat that apple, but I decided, uh, no, I, I have that apple juice. Um, so I just totally forgot about eating. I'm just going and uh, losing even more hunger now, trying to get some more stuff. So basically now I'm just, um, I just need to get an Enderman spawn in there. Now Enderman actually can spawn, which is really nice. Uh, oh yeah, and there's a zombie head too. I really need that. But the, Enderm the Enderman spawn in there is going to be sweet. As you can see, when I walk in, it's three high. Because I can jump. And um, the Enderman, some people think that the Enderman will actually teleport out. But from all my experience, and I've had this type of thing, I've had it two wide instead of one wide. Um, Basically, it's not. I've never had it teleport out. Now, I was just testing this to see if the wood or the dirt would be able to mine faster with my Matic, and definitely the dirt is mining a lot faster. So, I'm going to just keep that as like kind of my door. And then, hopefully, when we get back uh, in the next episode, we'll have our lava, and our lava will be full. Um, 
I'm, I might try to get an Ender Pearl. We'll see how that goes. If I can get one off camera or not. Um, but yeah, basically that's about it. I'm just, I might actually do the Rotten Flesh uh, for food. But as of right now, I don't think that we need it. Um, and I really don't think we need it. Uh, also, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, also, we need a lot more broken iron ore. We're going to need a ton of it. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Sorry for the narrations. Uh, hopefully that'll be fixed next episode. I hope you guys had a good one. Peace out.